I'm a forensic scientist. I've been a forensic scientist since 1984, and I specialize in firearms and tool marks. Today, I, I was looking at the possibility that the burn marks on Neville Bamber's back had been produced by part of the aga whenever it was on full heat. Thankfully, we actually got an aga that is exactly the same model as was in White House Farm back then. Based on what I've actually done today using pigskin and, and effectively burning pigskin against the front of the aga, there is the definite possibility that the burn marks on Neville's back could have been made with the aga. Kind of that, that height then? Yeah, 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 no, that's, that's just, just what I want. Though. So if I'm... I was a wee bit worried that I can't touch the that, middle that he, you can't touch all three. But he is. He is. Yeah. 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 How important do you think this is in, in terms of the case? It, it's very important in that it actually shows that there's a possibility that Neville Bamber's body was actually physically moved after the, the police actually arrived at the scene and effectively the evidence was, was changed for want of a better word. <laughs> 